Welcome back to the Morning Wrap. It is Earth Day today, and we're celebrating with the Wyland Foundation, an organization dedicated to promoting and protecting our oceans, waterways, and marine life. So joining me now is Steve Creech, president of Wyland. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. It's great to be here. We put this big graphic for you Just so for everyone us, huh? knows it's Earth Day. Yeah. Um, your foundation does a lot. We partnered with you guys. Yes, um, we so do. we obviously think very highly of what you do. Um, but tell us a little bit about uh, some of the roots causes of these environmental issues that people need to know about how they can help and why it's been you know the mission yeah you know it's uh it's been 50 years uh give or take <laughs> mostly take for uh since earth day and i think we've learned an awful lot since then mm -hmm. you know back in the first earth day it was all about uh you know responding to these immediate crises that we had uh, around the country oil spills mm -hmm. and rivers catching on fire so i think there was a real awareness at the time about those those specific problems but uh, over time you know we have earth day to do a, a check-in to see how we're doing with our uh, environment and how we're consuming resources now we're taking care of things and um and now the problems have become a lot more complex mm -hmm. so uh now we're dealing obviously with climate change mm -hmm. and uh issues related to our oceans um We've uh, got plastic uh, gyres in uh, our oceans where uh, our plastic waste is going out to sea and it's circulating there for hundreds of years. Um, so we have a lot of problems. Uh, and usually when, when you're talking with an environmentalist, it, there's a lot of gloom and doom. Uh, and we do have to reconcile and deal with the, the problems. Uh, we have to do things better. We have to manage our resources. And uh, looking back in the first Earth Day, you know, it was said that uh, we used all of the resources on Earth uh, and just enough uh, for the Earth to manage and adapt to all the resources that we use. And uh, now I think that we would need about two Earths to be able to uh, uh, deal with all the resources that we need and, uh, and, and there. But when we talk about the oceans, which is what the Wyland Foundation is very focused on, we're, we're, we're talking about a resource that, you know, many people live far away from. They don't deal with it on a on a regular basis. In fact, if you don't live on the coast, you know you may spend your whole day or your whole week without really giving any thought to the ocean. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, um, our ocean uh, it also uh, takes in carbon dioxide and uh, releases oxygen. So the the ocean is part of the lungs of the earth, just like our trees and wetlands. Uh, but the problem is we're generating so much more uh, CO2 now that the ocean can't process it fast enough. So what happens then is we start having issues like ocean acidification and um, we have an issue right now with one of the uh, world's biggest chlor coral bleaching events. Uh, corals uh, generate about 2.7 trillion dollars in economic value to the uh, to the world. So, uh, so you you spoke about issues. One issue that I have is that I'm so fascinated with what you're saying that we already almost ran out of time. So <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I just want to know where people can go to help out the foundation and and just let people know that before before we go off air. <laughs> sure, you can go to WyomingFoundation.org. <laughs> And uh, you can learn about ways that you can get involved in saving our planet. We do have the One Project Earth Month Challenge going on all month. And that's where you go to Wyland Foundation, uh, my volunteer water project. You do one project and uh, we, we're giving away uh, tickets to the uh, Beach Life Festival. And you can win Wyland Art, all sorts of great <laughs> things. Take care of the planet, Thank please. you so much. Yes, <laughs> please take care of the planet. You are the best. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. And that does it for us here on The Morning Wrap. Stick around.